One of the biggest problems that faces owners of horses and ponies that are prone to weight gain and laminitis is that most grazing in the UK has been selected to benefit agricultural animals by using high sugar species such as perennial ryegrass and heavily fertilising them. Consequently, grazing is too high in non-structural carbohydrates, mainly sugars, for most horses and ponies, especially native breeds. Areas grazed also tend to be quite small, which restricts exercise. In an ideal world, we would all have poor quality hill grazing available, but this is rare. Solutions that can be used for restricting grazing include mixed grazing with sheep or other horses to reduce the grass available, restricted areas fenced with electric fencing like strip grazing, the use of suitable grazing muzzles, which can have limitations as ponies can sometimes remove them, or a sacrifice paddock with a safely hung net of soaked hay. Limiting the time spent on grass is not a perfect solution, as intake per hour tends to increase as turnout time is reduced. During one hour of turnout, a pony could easily eat two kilos dry matter of grass. Management which allows exercise is important and full-time stabling is not desirable unless active laminitis is present. Appropriate ridden work or in-hand exercise will help to burn excess calories but should only be used for those that are completely sound with a stable hoof capsule. To balance this restricted diet, Topspec Anti-Lam, which is a pelleted multi-supplement, is ideal. Long-term trials at our laminitis research unit have shown that horses and ponies on restricted grazing do not gain any additional weight when fed Topspec Anti-Lam. It can even be fed from the hand if required. In most cases, Topspec Anti-Lam can be continued all year round and more conditioning diets should be avoided. The natural weight loss cycle which occurs during the winter should be encouraged allowing horses and ponies prone to laminitis to approach the spring in a light condition.